So in this video, I'm going to be taking a trip with my family. We are going to be staying at a lit ass Airbnb for a whole week, but I am going to be packing today. We are going to be doing an unpacking and packing. The bag that I'm unpacking is my pole bag. So I'm gonna show you all the clothes that I bring with me when I go to audition or dance. And I'm gonna be sharing my story on my auditioning process out in Florida, comparing and contrasting Los Angeles to Florida strip clubs, okay? So definitely stay tuned and yeah. Words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less compared to some of my niggas down So this is the bag that I'm gonna be using to pack my clothes in. This is actually my pole bag. So as I'm unpacking it, I'm gonna show you goddesses what I have in my pole bag. Let me take this off real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how I pack my bag. I have this, these are my pair of pleasers. These are eight inch heels. The pleasers are the best, that's all I'm gonna say. They're the fucking best. When I pack my bag, I always make sure I have multiple pairs of shoes. Packed two pleasers in here. As you can see, these are dirty as fuck, okay? These are my pleasers that I wear all the fucking time. These, I broke these shits in, but one of them lights up. So these are like lit up, it just died. So these are my favorite pleasers. As y'all can see, I have worn the fuck out of this. When I'm in the club, pole dancing, doing events, these are the shoes that I wear. These are the most comfortable ones and I wear them like shoes. So those are my shoes. So we're now gonna get into the outfits. I'm gonna tell y'all what this brand is. This is Naughty Thoughts. This is like a see-through shirt. It's really, really cute. I love this outfit. This is a top, comes with a pair of gloves. These bottom has the Naughty Thoughts on it. I mean, this is very good quality. And then this is my favorite piece where it's just around the waist and thighs. This is like one of my favorite outfits. So this is the bottom. The brand is called Monique Morning, I believe. I will put it, everything in the link in the description. What I'm about to show you is kind of like what I got from like Shein and just random pieces that were like given to me. This is a, a piece that goes around my neck. I could actually pole dance in this. I'm not gonna unravel it, but this is like a bodysuit. Oh, and then I have this bathing suit from Cheetah print one. So that's pretty much in my pole bag. So now I'm just gonna dump the rest because they're just like underwear. So now we go and pack the bag. One, I'm gonna start packing dresses right now because I know we're gonna have like a banquet and stuff like that. Like being a dancer in LA, was the hardest thing that I had ever done, ever in my life. Every single time that I would go to the club, I was getting so many no's and I'm like, kind of from like social media and kind of just from YouTubers that I watch and I understand they were in different states and whatnot, but it's like, that's what I was trying to do because I knew a lot of strippers and dancers that would go to like make their money, to be able to like support themselves and whatnot and i'm out here you know going to these clubs and shit and whatnot and getting rejected so 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 much in la and i want to sit here and share too i recently had a conversation and i probably will like screenshot it but there was this girl that sent me a long message on one of my vlogs i think it was actually my last vlog of dancing in los angeles just sharing her experience and how LA is like not great and she's been a dancer that's been all over and her experience in Los Angeles is just trash. I forgot to even mention what this is. It's my mom's surprise birthday party. Surprise, she knows about it. For like one of the nights it's like black. So this is the only black dress I think I had. It's kind of cute. But anyway, going back to the story, she was just expressing her experience in Los Angeles and it was terrible. You know what I'm saying? And with that all being said, I just realized that starting my journey as a baby stripper out in California was probably like not the best place to start. But I did say in the message back to her, I was like, you know, everything happens for a reason. So what did I learn? You know what I'm saying? From that time of being in LA and being rejected so much, I feel like what I learned mostly from that whole experience is I had to really be strong. I'm stronger from it. So when I get a no, I don't take it personally anymore. I never take anything personally. So that's what I say, like I really have learned taking nothing personally and just kind of like, if you get a no, move on. You know, I think that's one of the biggest things. And then this is the last dress that I am going to be bringing along. Anyway, with having that whole conversation and just recognizing that I wasn't the only one that was experiencing that, it wasn't the first time that I had heard that 
LA experience and dancing in LA is like pointless. And if I'm gonna be real with y'all, I went to go audition out here in Florida. And let me sit here and tell you something. I felt more welcome. Here is like the real fucking deal when it comes to the strip clubs. I'm gonna explain very quickly the difference between Los Angeles and the clubs out here in Florida. In Los Angeles, you have to like be on payroll and you have to meet a quota, which is pretty much your the tip out. This is the weird part. So the last club that I like worked at, like I didn't meet my quota, so I, ha I had the money obviously and I wanted to pay it and they wouldn't let me pay it. They would be like, you have to go ask this person over here to pay it because we can't take the money from you, actually. There was this one dude on real shit who was like, you know what, just give me the money, it's all good. And I would tip him because he was like, let me, let me look out for you. And so I looked out for him and I tipped him. I didn't understand that. So anyway, out here, there's a lot of rules in the strip clubs, like the real deal compared to like Los Angeles and whatnot, like the time to come in and like dance in the club. So say it starts at two and like that day shift time, you can only work like eight hours, I believe. So if you come at like two, you have to leave by nine and that's it. You can't like, I don't think you can work further legally if you were to come during like the evening time, you know, there's a set time. And then the latest time that you can come in is like 10.30, I think like 10.30 or something like that. When I say there was a lot of rules, I really could not keep up with it. With that being said, so I have these pair of jeans that I'm going to be bringing with me. I have these other pair of jeans. I really like these. They give me Kim Possible vibes. I have these shorts I'm going to bring with me. It's one piece jumper. I fucking love this one. I think the company is called Recess. This was a gift that I was given from like the company Recess. So these are another pair of pants. I love these pants. I always get complimented. I got these from Shein. I will put it in the link in the description as well. To we get into the comfortable pants, here are my joggers that I'm going to bring with me. And then these pants my grandmother gave to me, rest her soul. So these are like really cute pants. Y'all, I can't even fit these anymore really so yeah just kind of like just going over you know what I was just saying about the club it's just very welcoming out here that's something that I noticed went into the club early and I actually talked to like the owner of the club and stuff like that um really cool guy and whatnot but overall I can sit here and say that I feel better out here like I feel like one I know they make money out here if you are a dancer or if you're thinking about dancing and whatever don't waste your time in Los Angeles I'm just gonna tell you that right now don't waste your time in Los Angeles. Back in 2019 when I did my research, like the best places to like strip at was not Los Angeles. That was never on the list. So with that being said, I'm not saying that you can't make money in Los Angeles, but I feel like it's very superficial out there. Someone told me that certain clubs, if you don't have a certain amount of social media following, they won't let you dance in the club. I just thought that was interesting and I do feel like there is truth to that when it comes to Los Angeles. Specifically, Los Angeles, don't dance there. I heard great things about San Diego. I heard great things about San Francisco. And I mean, if you really think about it, y'all, a lot of tech heads are, that's where a lot of major businesses are, like Google and shit like that. And I have talked to someone that they said, out in San Francisco is like better than Los Angeles. So with that being said, I'm gonna show y'all a couple of bathing suits and kind of like pole bathing suit wear. This is not really a bathing suit, but I do wear it as a bathing suit. This is more of a pole strip club wear. Then this is like velvet. I love this one. This is one of my favorites outfits that I wear in the club, go to the pool and stuff. This is my fucking fave. I feel like orange and pink are like my color. So I'm gonna bring this bathing suit. This is actually a bathing suit, but I wear this as like post stuff. Let me tell y'all something real quick. If you are traveling and if it is like strip club, like new or something like that, don't maybe tell them that you're like traveling because I'm I'm gonna be here for a while. They were like, oh, coming from California, we don't really want traveling dancers. I'm like, no, 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 like I'm gonna be here for a while. My thing is, I think the best thing for me is like, I'm probably gonna be here for a year. So when I do decide to leave, I already have a great relationship with this club and I can come back whenever I kind of feel like it. Just tell them that you're moving out here. You know, I forgot to show y'all this outfit. I have this outfit where that's the bottoms and this is, hopefully I can show y'all, this is like the top. I love this outfit. One of the things that I will say, it seems like the girls are like really nice. I, I talked to a couple of girls. I seen one I seen one girl that had like death note on her calf. She just got tatted and I thought that was really cool. As y'all know, I'm a huge Yu Yu Hakusho fan, anime fan, so I'm reading this. But like, have y'all been watching the live action One Piece? 
let me know in the comments below i heard like really really great things but my biggest thing is like i really fucking want to know like how long are they going to be doing one piece for y'all do know that there's a fucking thousand episodes right i don't know what that i haven't watched it i am really curious to watch it i actually watched one piece when i was like a kid but once toonami stopped airing it i stopped watching it so that was probably like the fifth season so here's another one piece that i like to wear this is like really really cute so let me know if y'all goddesses have checked out one piece and if you have what do you think about it do you feel like the character is like definitely, you know what I'm saying, it for Luffy and whatnot? So to kind of just wrap it up real quick, that's kind of like my experience, what I've noticed from Los Angeles and like Florida and like just auditioning out here, my experience was so much better. So one of the things that I'm gonna say real quick is like, I felt so welcome and also like, I didn't feel like I was overlooked. I don't know if that sounds like weird because I feel like in Los Angeles, I was overlooked a lot and i'm just gonna keep it a buck with y'all i don't really care how anybody feels about this everybody's experience is different but i truly feel that they do not fuck with black girls out there and i you know have a video on that and whatnot and literally meeting another black girl who is thicker who had i don't know if she had her titties done or whatever but she had the typical body and she was having a hard time and she was telling me that she's coming from miami she has danced everywhere else and she this was like her first time of like dancing out here and she's like i've been to so many clubs and i've never been rejected i think she had said she went to either like three or four and this was her fourth club and she had never been rejected like that I realized that the other clubs, like the only time a house mom would come would be at night in Los Angeles. But there's a day house mom and there's a nighttime house mom. There was like four house moms. And I was like, oh, okay. Like this experience is like one, the real stripper experience that I just didn't know, you know, existed until coming out here. But anyway, with that all being said, I'm really excited for this new journey and being out here, I feel like I'm gonna come home with multiple bags. This is kind of like my last week, I guess, of like kind of vacationing until I come back and we start dancing in the club. So definitely stay tuned. But with that being said, thank you goddesses. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to love on that like button and show some love in the comments and if you have yet to subscribe to my channel. Bye. Let's go back to the time we a nigga used to trip. By the time we spent, bro, we were just friends. It was all friendly on my end. Even though I look forward to seeing you again. I, um, when am I seeing you again? Hey, when are we speaking again? Yeah, you look good with that ink on your skin. Hood with your